if there was a problem with your direct deposit on Friday, there's a reason for that. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about several banks across the country that experienced problems with direct deposits on Friday specifically, which is the absolute worst day of the week to have this problem because this is when the majority of people who get a direct deposit from their job are going to get paid. Now, before we get into all the details about the electronic payments network and the automated clearinghouse ACH, before we get into all that, let's just back up a little bit here to give a scenario or an example of how this whole thing may play out. Now, you work in a regular job, you get paid every week, every two weeks, maybe once a month, and you have direct deposit. You enrolled in it, you signed up for it. So whenever you get paid, you're not getting a check in the mail. You're not going to your job to pick up the check and drop it in the bank. Your money hits your bank account right away. Usually, what's that like? 12 midnight, whenever it is, it'll hit at a very specific time. And you look forward to it because, hey, you're working the job, you got bills to pay, you got to eat, you got to take care of life. Now, what if you look on your app on that Friday morning, Friday night, whatever it is, you're looking for your check to be there and it's not there. Now we got a problem. We got a big problem because this is a Friday and it's right close to the first of the month. It's the third. So I know how the whole game goes. Sometimes you're not able to pay your rent on the first because you're waiting on your check that's hitting right at the same time. You see? So you get a five-day grace period on your rent. If it's due on the first, you could pay by the fifth with no penalty. So when the third comes along and that check comes, you're waiting on it. It's pretty much already spent. And you go to your account and nothing. Now we got a problem. Now, before I continue into an article to get a little bit more information, I want to ask you guys, if you experience a problem or some kind of issue with your direct deposit has been resolved, do you have your money? Did you get some of your money, but not all your money? I don't know about y'all, but look, if I'm working a job and I sign up for direct deposit and every week, two weeks, whenever, every month, the money's there at the same time, now all of a sudden it isn't, we got a problem. Again, especially because we got bills hitting at the same time. You might even have it set up to where you have automatic bill pay that hits right when your check is supposed to hit. So for example, You'll get paid on a Friday or every two weeks, and you may have a car note that hits right at the same time. Now, if your check doesn't hit and the money's not there, now we got a problem. Now we got late fees and everything else. And let's get into this article right here. You see what it says. And before I read the article, I just want to give my quick opinion about this. I think it's pretty suspicious that we have a problem with direct deposits on a Friday at several banks and they want to say it's human error. So out of all the days in the week, because the ACH system could go down any day. Why on a Friday and why at the first of the month? Are you trying to test this? Like what's going on? Not exactly on the first for all the uh, 5,000 IQs out there, but it's the first perimeter. It's a perimeter of the first, like right before the first, like the 30th, right around then to about the fifth, sixth, that's like the perimeter of the first. That's when a lot of uh, checks are being deposited. A lot of bills are getting paid. A lot of money is being doled out. People are going to the grocery stores. Um, they're getting the EBT cards refreshed, which is a different story. And for now, I digress. I wonder if that had a problem too with EBT cards getting refreshed. Okay, you're working hard. You, you, you're working hard every day, earning a living. But then if you have uh, government assistance, that won't decline. Anyway, you see what it says. See, your customers grapple with deposit delays at big banks. What it means for you. Customers at several big banks on Friday wrestled with direct deposit delays stemming from an industry-wide processing issue. The Fed reported a problem with the Electronic Payments Network, a private sector operator for Automated Clearinghouse, ACH, a network that processes transactions. Now you may recognize ACH because you sign up for that when you get direct deposits. 
Okay, that's how it works. And without getting too long-winded, ultimately, ACH, that's how your direct deposit gets to you. That's just what it is. And if there's a problem with that, all of a sudden, your check that should have been there at a certain time on a certain day is not there. And you're not sure when it's going to hit you. You call in the bank, what are they going to tell you? I don't know, man. It was a human error. Let's, let's get more into it. So customers at several big banks on Friday wrestled with direct deposit delays, something from an industry-wide processing issue. There was a surge of quote-unquote outages reported by banking customers Friday morning, including Bank of America, Chase, Truist, U.S. Bank, and Wells Fargo, according to a down detector. But the site does not specify the nature of the complaints. Now, um, let's, let's keep on going. I'm going to say something, but I'm going to just keep rocking to see if they address it before I address it. All Federal Reserve Financial Services operating normally, according to a Fed statement issued on Friday. The Fed reported a processing issue with the Electronic Payments Network, or, you know, part of ACH. There was a processing error with ACH file last night. It was a manual error associated with the file. So how did that happen? If it's a manual error, do you have just one person in charge of this? Is it a team of guys in charge of this? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on because this is a really big issue. Like I say, you might have rent to pay, bills to pay. You may have, wait, the way everything is set up, everything is so automated and electronic. If a piece of the system fails that is normally reliable, then that causes other things to fail. Like I said, if you have your check coming in at a certain time and you know what's going to be there and you have bills set up to auto draft at that time now that's going to be a problem because money's not there so how does that really work are you going to be reimbursed for any kind of late fees or any kind of basically a bounce check fee if that would apply i'm trying to figure that out and then if you don't get your money for a day or two and by the time you get it it's a little bit too late to try and pay your rent on time are you going to be reimbursed for any kind of late fees you may experience because now we're on the fourth if your check hadn't gotten there yet, which it should be, but if it's not there yet and you're waiting on your rent, I mean, you got one more day and it's a weekend. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, so it was Emmanuel Ayers said Gregory McSweeney, vice president and head of communications at the Clearinghouse, the banking association and payments company that owns the EPN processing system. Banks are now working to correct the errors in those payments. Uh, so that means that it's not all the way right. And you know what? Oh, this is what I wanted to say. I'm not quite sure they're going to address it. They probably won't. This particular topic was trending on Google. It was like a number four or five top trending result. But then when I looked on the internets for the story, I'm not really seeing many news stations cover it on air. They'll write articles like this, of course, but they're not right. They're not doing any on air stories. So I guess giving your money to foreign nations is more important than getting your money that you work for every day, okay, and paying your bills, taking care of yourself. Again, that's more foreign money, foreign people, their problems, more important than your problems. We'll continue. We are aware of an industry-wide technical issue impacting some deposits for November the 3rd. Lee Henderson, Vice President of Public Affairs and Communications at U.S. Bank, told CNBC in a statement, customer accounts remain secure, and balances will be updated when deposits are received. See, but again, you're not addressing my question, which was if we have late fees and bounce check fees and everything else because money's not there when it's supposed to be there, then are you going to reimburse that? Because the, 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 the banking system or whoever you guys use as a third party to make sure that the money's there had a problem. It's not the problem of the depositor. It's you guys. You guys should be responsible for any fees linked to it. We do not have an estimate on timing at this point. Customers do not need to take any action. Well, they got to do some kind of action because they got to still got to pay bills. Like, what are you going to say to the rent man? Hey, man, you know, ACH messed up. You going to tell your landlord that? Anyway, the originators of those deposits are working to resend the payment files, and we will post them as soon as we can. Uh, Bank of America... Truist and Wells Fargo did not provide commentary by publication time. And that statement right there I just read came from Chase. 
Customers affected by the deposit delays can call their lenders and explain their late payments. Oh, really? Is that is that what they could do for real? Uh, they can explain the late payments were due to an industry wide issue, said Matt Schultz, chief credit analyst at Lending Tree. Um, he says, when money that we expect to be there on Friday morning isn't there, and your auto pay is set up to pay a credit card or a buy now pay later loan, it can cause some real issues. Now, do you guys think that you could call your credit card company, the rent man, um, Ford Credit, Toyota? Can you call them and be like, hey, man, you know what? My check didn't get there. My, my check's late. Is that what you're going to be able to say? I'm not quite sure that's going to work. But as I close, I want to say this. This should be a really bigger story than what it is. It should be a much bigger story than what it is. But for some reason, it's not. Again, I think that issues abroad are more important or maybe they don't want to talk about this because it's a really big problem and if they highlight it it's going to maybe add fuel to the fire because this is really serious if you don't have your money first of the month you got some things you you're going to be in a bad situation and they're not giving out confident statements that they'll be able to help you because what happens as i close what happens is when you're late on stuff and you incur those fees that puts you in a in a deeper hole to where you're going to always be behind. And that's going to be a serious problem that they're going to have to address. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's happening here? Do you think they're trying to hide the story? Do you think it's been done on purpose? I mean, again, um, why would this system all of a sudden have a, a malfunction or an error right on a Friday, right near the first of the month? Is it a test? Are they trying to see how we're going to operate in this kind of situation? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is a really big deal that needs to be highlighted. And the banks who have the issue need to pony up some money. They need to. Because when they were failing due to their uh, terrible business practices, I'm looking at you sitting at your bank and also Wells Fargo, Bank of America, et cetera. When they failed because of their bad lending practices, the taxpayer built them out to the tune of billions, if not trillions of dollars. So when they make a mistake and misappropriate our funds or whatever they've done, a mistake with the ACH system, and now we have fees and whatnot that we're trying to pay, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, they need to pony up that money. Simple and plain. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.